This is an expanded craft two-sided 16-foot outrigger kit on a canoe and it's being powered by paddle only. You can see there's also a sail and a bimini top on it and owner and inventor of expanded craft Wesley Stevenson is the one doing the paddling and he's gonna paddle right up here and tell you a little bit more about this craft. Hi folks, Wesley with Expand the Craft here. I just put this seat on here to test to see if I could move this boat and I'm moving it actually against the current and against the wind. You can maneuver this boat with a paddle even with the decking coming out here. So yes, it can be done. Somebody asked me that so I thought I'd uh, make it happen. Um, we did a test today earlier on these two motors. Now one is a 40 pound thrust uh, motor, what is it? Motor guide. The other is a 55 pound thrust uh, Newport uh, vessels. I couldn't really find much of a difference there. Now this is where I need you to make some comments online. Some of you guys who know about electrics can tell me how much more electricity does the 55 use than the 40? Because the 40 did the same job. I mean, the, the 55 may have been ever so slightly faster in top speed, but I don't know which one of these motors is more efficient than the other. So one of them may drain the battery faster than the other. I don't know that, so I can't tell you. Now, uh, you've seen me do this with paddle only. I'm going to do something I thought was ridiculous in the first place. I'm using a water snake 18 pound thrust motor with this tiny little amped outdoors. Um, it's a 30 amp hour battery. We took it out and tested it on one of my other expanded craft and it didn't last very long but I had just gotten it in so perhaps it wasn't charged up. This time it is charged up. However, what I want to do with this is show you that with just an 18 pound thrust motor, it weighs, I don't know, 10, 12 pounds. It's not even a hundred bucks. Um, and if I was by myself and I needed to paddle this boat um, against a little bit of a current, which we do have, we have about a knot and a half, maybe two knots of current right now, and maybe two knots of uh, wind. It's not a lot of wind. Uh, but what I wanna do is I wanna show you that with a little bit of assistance, a small little motor like this, that it can move this big 16 foot canoe with a 16 foot nine inch expand craft outrigger, wood decks, bimini top. I got two extra batteries, all of this stuff on board. That's a lot of weight, you know, compared to just a canoe. And I'm gonna try it on setting number one first. This is setting number one with an 18 pound thrust motor. This is the motor by itself, by itself. This is setting number one. It has two settings. He's got a rudder on there to steer the boat, but that's just the little 18 pound thrust water snake motor and a tiny little, two once I get straight. and a tiny little lithium ion battery. That's setting two. Look at that. I mean, really, if if you I were... I need to paddle. Yeah. Now, maybe if you were fighting a stronger current, you would, but it seems fine if you're just tooling wow. around fishing. It seems like it would be plenty. So, while um, Wesley is testing out that motor, I want to remind you to go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can see this entire series where Wesley tests different aspects of what he's calling the black and tan. Um, he'll be sailing it, he'll be using different motors, he'll be putting a tent on and camping on it. Um, it's got a deck that spans the entire width of the I'm, boat. I'm amazed. 18 pounds of thrust, that's it. 18 pounds, I'm not paddling. I thought I'd have to assist, I don't. I could. That's just how slick this is through the water. So it's a it's a camping, fishing, electric motor, sailing, outrigger canoe with two 16-foot outriggers. So it's a double-sided 
16 foot expandacraft outrigger kit with the canoe connector kit. Try to say that real fast. Again, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow us as we do more videos on this unique craft. Expandacraft.com.